Well, analog design has been done the same way as it's as 20 years ago, uh, or very little has changed. I think um, we're still using the same tools that we used when I went to school, and probably most of us in this conference went to school. We're using spies and a lot of our head, and pretty much that's it. And of course, there's been advances in the last uh, 10 years, uh, but they have been very limited and mostly in the area of simulation, nothing in the area of optimization or design automation or synthesis. Well, one of the exciting things about magma is that we're taking a completely different uh, view at the problem. And um, we are, we started about five years ago, and we thought, uh, what can we do to really change analog design? And that actually gave us a, it was a big opportunity for the design team. We were able to uh, really hone in on the key technologies that would make uh, analog design significantly different, and as a result, produce tremendous improves in, pro in you know, changes in productivity. So we've actually invested our resources in uh, optimization engines, both for the electrical design and the physical design, and as a result, as the co-electrical and physical design. And this, uh, for many people, these technologies, and when you talk about optimization for analog, they think you're crazy and it's never gonna happen. But um, you know, we've, uh, we're here to show that we actually have made uh, uh, something that seemed impossible, possible, and more than possible, uh, better than we've ever dreamed that could be. Today, if you're designing a circuit like an op amp, it actually is maybe fairly small, 50 devices. Um, you think, well, how hard can it be to pick 100 design variables, uh, width and length, for a circuit? Um, in theory, if you told anybody that is not a circuit designer, they would tell you instantaneous. That's a tiny problem, right? But in fact, it's really, really hard. And it will take somebody that's been doing it for a long time. So an expert, expert designer may take a few days to do this design, a couple of days to five days. If you're a new person uh, or a junior uh, guy less than five years, um, that might take you a week, so one, two, three weeks, depending how complex you, uh, the circuit is, how good you are, et cetera. If you are using our tools, you can get an op amp that will meet the specs that you want, um, and not only just the specs at the electrical, but I was saying also a physical representation of this circuit in a matter of hours. So it's, uh, in, this includes the time it takes you to open the tool and look at the result and run it a couple of times, et cetera. The actual optimization time is just you know, seconds or minutes. So it's, it's huge. You know, that when you do the numbers, you're talking about 1,000, 10,000, a million times faster than what you do by hand. But um, you know, what we're seeing people do is that they're actually changing the way they design. So before, you know, you do an op amp, your boss gives you a spec, uh, it takes you a couple of days, takes you two weeks, you're done, you, you tell them, well, I really couldn't meet this spec, but I got pretty close and look how good it is. And once you have magma, you don't just take one hour and you're done. What people are doing is uh, running a bunch of optimization, exploring the design space. And they'll actually go back to their boss and be, hey, here's the bandwidth uh, power trade-off for this circuit, what do you think? Or if I chose this other circuit, I would be doing much better. Or And that has huge implications for a company because um, at that point, you're not just making your little circuit better, you're making your whole system better. And when you are able, we're able to save in you know significant um, performance powers on, in some cases, up to 2x power reductions. And for anybody that's in the mobile or consumer space, that's just a huge deal. So, and it's just very hard to do by hand. Um, the tools can be learned in a matter of days, um, this new way of designing, and uh, they like just eat it up and become you know, expert users that take the technology to places where we can't even think of taking it. And of course, there's people that are uh, on the other side that are um, you know, kind of the late adopters, but luckily enough, um, once they see the results of their uh, you know, colleagues, they jump on board fairly quickly.